Lord be with you and with your spirit. We gather this day to celebrate the 24th Sunday in Ordinary Time. But first we pause to acknowledge our sinfulness and to ask the Lord for his pardon and his love. Lord Jesus, you call us to forgive without limits. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, we live not for ourselves, but for you. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, we ask you to free us from hatred and anger. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us of our sins, bring us to life everlasting. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sin of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, look upon us, creator and ruler of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy. Grant that we may serve you with all our heart. We ask this as we ask all things, through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. Wrath and anger are hateful things, yet the sinner hugs them tight. The vengeful will suffer the Lord's vengeance, for he remembers their sin in detail. Forgive your neighbor's injustice. Then when you pray, your own sins will be forgiven. Could anyone nourish anger against another and expect healing from the Lord? Could anyone refuse mercy to another like himself? Can he seek pardon for his own sins? If one who is but flesh cherishes wrath, who will forgive his sins? Remember your days, your last days. Set enmity aside. Remember death and decay and cease from sin. Think of the commandments. Hate not your neighbor. Remember the Most High's covenant and overlook faults. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
until he paid back the whole debt. So will my heavenly Father do to you, unless each of you forgives your brother from your heart. The Gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. September 11, 2001 is a date and time that seems like yesterday. Happened 19 years ago this past Friday. And on that fateful day, 2,977 innocent lives were lost. And since that day, our country, our world, has never been the same again. Why did that day in history happen? The answer is because of hatred. It was hate, plain and simple. Hate fueled by unforgiving hearts. Hear these words from our first reading again. Wrath and anger are hateful things, yet the sinner hugs them tight. Think of the commandments, hate not your neighbor. My friends, as Christians, we are called to reconcile. We are called to forgive. How often have we prayed these words, forgive us of our sins, as we forgive those who have sinned against us. Do those words of the Lord's Prayer have any meaning to us? Does Jesus in that prayer seem too demanding by those words? Our Jesus teaches us that it is not enough to just stop hating, but we must also start loving. Jesus shows us, having been hurt himself, it's not enough just to drop the matter. We must forgive the offender. Better yet, can we forgive and forget? Jesus teaches us that it's not enough to say, I forgive you. We must mean what we say but most of all, prove what we say. On the way out of church one Sunday morning, a parishioner said to his pastor, there is so much resentment be between groups in our town that the very air is filled with it. To which the pastor replied, not so. If you were taken if you would only take a sampling of this air to a laboratory for analysis, you wouldn't find a trace of resentment in the air. Resentment is in the minds and hearts of people who breathe the air. Each of us have that God-given potential to forgive and forget. All we need to do is to turn it on. Amen. Together, let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, Born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, rose again 
on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As we trust in our God, a God that is kind and merciful, we pray for our nation that we may be that we may free our land of the evil of racism, injustice, and inequality, so that we may build up a just society. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our country, as we remember the tragic events of September 11, 2001, 19 years ago, we pray for all those who lost their lives on that fateful day, and we remember their families and friends that mourned their loss. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our brothers and sisters on the West Coast who are struggling with the wildfires that continue to rage and leaving great destruction and the loss of lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a vaccine may be found for the coronavirus to be administered for all people around the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the 23 boys and girls of our religious education program who received their first Holy Communion this weekend, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and the suffering of our parish, for those requesting prayers from our community of faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Claire Skid and Eileen Malazzo, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the special requests made on the St. Thomas prayer line, respect for all life, job opportunities for all, for the safety of all our first responders, medical, hospital personnel, for the safety of our military personnel and their families, and for our own personal intentions. God of hope and mercy, hear our prayers. Come to our aid in our hour of need. We ask this through Christ our Lord.
Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. O Lord, we pray, receive with favor the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us together now give thanks to the Lord our God, for it is right and just. It is truly right and just that we should give you thanks and praise, O God, Almighty Father, for all you do in this world. For though the human race is divided by dissension and discord, yet we know that by testing us, you change our hearts to prepare them for reconciliation. Even more, by your spirit, you move human hearts, that enemies may speak to each other again, adversaries join hands, people seek to meet together. By the working of your power, it comes about, O Lord, that hatred is overcome by love, revenge gives way to forgiveness, and discord is changed to mutual respect. Therefore, as we give you ceaseless thanks with the choirs of heaven, we cry out to your majesty on earth, and without end we acclaim. The Mystery of Faith. When we describe and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking 
of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Frank Caggiano, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of our God, Joseph, her husband, the Blessed Apostles, the Glorious Martyrs, St. Thomas Aquinas, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus the Christ. Through Christ, with Christ, and in Christ, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
Let us together make our act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Thank you.